Omnisphere has got a powerful dual filter mode where we can run two filters and either in series or parallel. Now we get to these controls in the filter zoom by clicking this plus button. I'm starting with an initialized patch again and I've just chosen one of the actual wavetables. This is what it sounds like with nothing done. Now I'm going to start by just turning the filter on and I'm going to turn the envelope tracking off so that we're hearing just the filter controls not influenced by the filter envelope. All right, so just some basic filter settings. Let's go into the filter zoom. Now here we have three main sections that we can break this down into. We have settings for the first filter over here, settings for the second filter over here, and in the main middle section here, these are common settings that either mirror what's on the main page over here or that are common to both filters. Now to start with, we have cutoff resonant variant key tracking and envelope tracking, and these mirror exactly what is set over here. So these are sort of global filter settings, and here we have offsets that for cutoff and resonance that offset each individual filter from the global values that are set here. So we have a cutoff offset, resonance offset, and variant offset. And similarly, we have that for both. And we can turn each filter on and off here. And we can select the filter type from this menu here. Now, when we're working with two filters, we can run either in series or parallel. Now, series means that the sound is running first through filter one and then into filter two. And that's pretty straightforward and simple to understand. When we're in parallel mode, it means it's running into the two filters independently of each other. And we use this mix slider to sort of blend the effect of the two. And the gain slider is an offset for the entire filter section. And in pre and post mode, we can have the offset either before the filter section or post, which is after all the filtering. So let's put this to work. I'm going to start by changing this filter type. I'll get something a little more dramatic so we can really hear the effects. So first of all, here's the low pass filter and these are our basic settings and I can offset it with this over here. But it's all related to this value. And similarly, I can offset the resonance and the variance. So let's set up a second filter. I'm gonna turn it on. And there's all kinds of filter types. We have low pass, high pass, band pass, notch, and some specialty filters. And these are the actual raw filters versus when we look in the preset menu here. And by the way, you see modified because I've altered some of the values. But when we look in here, we see actual filter settings that call up not just the filter types, but different settings for them. And in the specialty filters, we have a lot of dual filter setups. When we have this plus sign, it means that there's two filters already set up. So it's Interesting to go into those and look in the zoom and see how they're set up. But for now, let's do it manually. I'm going to set up a high pass filter over here, or maybe a band pass. Let's set this one up. And we'll run it in series for now. So it's running into here and then into here. So obviously, if I adjust the frequency of the offset for the cutoff here, it's going to affect the overall sound. And in series, the mix slider has no effect. So right away, that's some nice, interesting dual filter. We can hear with the variant sliders, the different filter effects. I'll turn them off one at a time. Now it gets interesting when we run in parallel mode where we can blend the two. Boost the gain. And in parallel mode like this, when we adjust the cutoff offset of filter one, it doesn't affect the signal arriving at filter two. Now this is nice and we can modulate the overall cutoff value. 
Let me, in fact, right click here and I'm going to modulate it with the mod wheel. And you can see my mod wheel motion over here. So you can see how using two filters really thickens up the sound and gives you a lot of kind of depth by having different filter effects and playing with the variant offsets especially can really place them in the stereo field and thicken up the sound nicely. So just to recap here, we have two filters. We set the filter type for one and two over here. We set the main offset resonant variant key tracking and envelope depth here or on the main page. And then we can offset each filter with these sliders. Now in parallel mode, we mix the amount of the two filters together that we're going to hear. And in series, one just flows from one into the other. And the gain offset can be used in pre-mode if you want to really drive the filter and overdrive it. You can really boost this up and drive the filter section. Or you can use it to compensate post all of these controls. See if more in the next video.